Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. I'm very excited because today we have one of my most favorites, the BMW M3 E46 in a very interesting red color. And let me tell you something, in case you didn't know it, but this car is already a classic and it's going to be a future classic and an old timer you will desire. The car has been built from 2000 to 2006. It was a very, very interesting car back then fast but still you could drive it daily the m3 e30 was a very successful race car so they had to bring out something that would be also again the sheer driving pleasure the e36 was a little bit more massive a little bit on the heavier side and they thought you know what we need to make a brilliant sports car that is going to represent bmw in the perfect perfect example and this is it the m3 e46 as I said, this isn't the original color. You could get the car in yellow, in a phoenix yellow, in silver, in midnight blue, in this carbon black. And I would suggest you to get a midnight blue one. That color looks absolutely fantastic. There were two very interesting models that came after this, and it is the M3 CSL, a very special lightweight version. And there was also a prototype one with a four liter V8 in it, a very interesting car. But let's talk about this car. What do I love about it most? Well, it looks so masculine. It has a very beautiful front view. I mean, all of that is typical BMW. That's what we love about BMW. Two small kidneys, beautiful headlights, openings down here to cool the engine, to keep the car on the road, designed with the thought of making the car go fast around track. This part here, the power dome, for example, is only here because the engine couldn't fit actually underneath the bonnet. Then, of course, beautiful wheels. Those are aftermarket wheels, but they were BMW original wheels that look very similar to those BBS Motorsport. Absolutely fantastic. Great brake system. And then those beautiful side openings that they kept after the M3 E46. The reason for the sidelines were then first presented this was because they thought, okay, the engine couldn't get enough cooling and then it needed a little bit more airflow to get the heat out. But after they produced the car, they realized, okay, it doesn't even matter, but they present the design anyway. So they thought, you know what, let's keep it. And after the M3 E46, every single one of them had those sidelines. Very interesting. Beautiful side silhouette, a wonderful coupe. Big doors, as you can see, very big and very heavy actually, making it a very stable car. Then of course, this wide hip, here the extension around the tire, very beautiful and then I mean the most beautiful thing because that's what you're going to see the rear of a BMW M3 it is very fast so here a little spoiler lip wide hips you remember the days need for speed we all absolutely love this car and I still love it to this day four exhaust pipes this was the first time they introduced it and they kept it because of this car this is the father of the original M3, M4 we have today. Four exhaust pipes in the middle, pretty, pretty small, but a fantastic sound. This carbon part is aftermarket, but you would also get a small diffuser. Doesn't do a lot of things, but it looks great. Let's have a look at the engine. Let me pop the hood and show you what the engine is all about, because that is one thing that changed everything about this car, because it's the S52 engine, 8,000 RPMs, 343 horsepower, inline six, naturally aspirated, 365 Newton meters of torque, accelerates the car from zero to 100 in 5.2 seconds. You can get this one with a manual gearbox or a single clutch transmission, SMG. Absolutely fantastic. Tops out at 250 kph and is very, very good if maintained well. This little thing here has 220,000 kilometers and right now you need to check out our drivings review on this car because the engine is just mint it drives fantastic it revs up so beautiful it has such a nice rpm transformation when you rev up higher you need to check out that video so let's continue with the sound Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the interior of the BMW M3 E46. And as you can see, it is held very simple. It wasn't the most expensive car back then. It's still the entrance model and 
you get what you paid for so it isn't really fancy no leather etc on the dashboard for example this is all plastic here also hard that part that is actually aluminium which i think it's great we have the screen in the middle we have the climate control and something that they used back then in 2005 and it's this soft paint as you can see there everywhere there are little scratches maybe from nails or from you touching it something like that here also in the middle those those parts they are easy replaceable you can get it everywhere there are plenty of parts for this car also update parts where you can actually repaint them aftermarket is possible everything is possible aftermarket but what the biggest problem is is really those little parts the rest is rock solid the leather feel is okay a little bit worn out the car is 220,000 kilometers but it still feels driving wise it feels fantastic what i like a lot about the bmw m3 e46 especially is the speedometer so in the normal e46 they kind of had this lame really easy going speedometer only revving up to 7,000 RPMs and it, it was kind of black uh, black and gray, a little bit lame, so not a lot of colors. Here we have orange for the uh, RPM gauge. We have gray background, so it's, it's kind of a little bit more interesting for you to look at. And especially when you accelerate over six, 7,000 RPMs, you have a little bit, little bit of an animation that shows you, okay, now it's time for you to shift right at about 7,500 RPMs before it gets into the danger zone of 8000 rpms so very very nice it's for you to drive manual e-brake very nice this armrest also it's pretty nice okay it's a nice feel especially when it is maintained well alcantara on the side also on the top it's easy it's a great car beautiful leather seats feel very comfortable although it's pretty old so yeah what can we say about it if you want to find out more about the POV driving experience or how this car is actually on a very intense driving, make sure to check out our videos in the links. Make sure to follow us and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that's about it for the exterior and interior of the BMW M3. It's a great buy, it's a great car, and it's a 100% sure a great future classic. So see you on the next one. Thank you very much for tuning in. Goodbye.